this is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, First off, welcome. and if you're an OG, welcome back. Happy Friday, guys. It's been a couple weeks, a few weeks, actually, since I've recorded a video for uh, Journey to Redemption. So please forgive me. Charge it to my head, not my heart. I have been completely busy with other things, and I really felt like I needed to get back into this story. Now, you guys, I am here at, where are we? We are partying with club friends with um, Grandma Lily Mae, and this is not their normal meeting spot, but our friends wanted to just go out to uh, eat at uh, the local pub here in, I believe this is Windenburg, not Windenburg, this is uh, Willow Creek. I cannot take uh, credit for this fine build here. This is a lovely build. I actually don't remember where I got this, but I know it's from the, I'm lying. It could be from the gallery. It could be. Then again, it could be from The Sims Resource. However, this is a complete rebuild of Willow, or at least the downtown area of Willow Creek. I love it. Love, love, love it. Anyways, they are here at the bar. Um, this is kind of a hop in place. Look at this. this upstairs is a DJ booth and some uh, graffiti on the wall. And down here is the bar. So I love the industrial look that got, they've got going on. Let's get these camera angles together. Uh, looks like we've got someone who's uh, skipped class and uh, fell out on the floor, uh, Shiloh. But uh, I just wanted you guys to take in this beautiful face right here. I don't know where he came from, I said, where? I don't know who, where he came from, but uh, Christian Posen, sir, you are uh, mighty fine. Yes. I don't care what you guys say. I know it's The Sims. I know it's a video game, but you cannot deny he looks super good. Look at him. He knows he looks good. Oh, yes, he does. Look at him. Okay, so there is somebody famous here. I don't know who the uh, celebrity is. I'm assuming it's this young lady over here. Yes, Holly Sasaki. She's a B-lister. Don't know, but Grandma L is here getting a drink, I think. Where's she at? Is she in the bathroom texting? Where's she at? Yeah, she's in the bathroom texting. I wonder who she's texting. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of nosy. I want to check out her relationships. I think it's about time for Grandma. Did I call her Grandma L? Grandma Lily Mae. It's about time for her to meet someone. Okay, the music is a little bit too loud. Okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> is that who I think? That is Earl Porsche. This is one of her buddies from her, her club. And he was up here getting down. He's got a lot of spry in his step for someone his age. And I don't mean to be an ageist. Please don't get it wrong. But he's got way more energy than I have right now. And I'm way younger than he is. But, uh, yeah, he's put, definitely put me in a shame. I think Grandma L's, L, L, I keep calling her L. I think Grandma Lily Mae is actually interested in him. Did her friend just cut in? No, she didn't. She just got in. She's like, excuse me for a second, Earl. I need to talk to my friend. Um, yeah, he. Uh, it's about time that she um, has a little fun herself. Her daughter seems to have met someone. Look at him. Why is he soaking wet? It wasn't raining outside. Anyway, so I just wanted to double check on uh, Grandma Lily May for a little bit. Uh, we haven't really hung out with her, and uh, let's see if we can flirt with him. Let, let's uh, let's 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 give him a pickup line. See how smooth Lily May is. He's a little uncomfortable, or she is. He is. He's uncomfortable, so it may not go well. We'll see, though. We're gonna take our chance. Is he? Is he? Oh, wait a minute. Did he? Did he like it? He. He did. Yes. 
Go ahead then, Grandma. She is young at heart, and uh, he's all for it. Let's see if we can give him a hug. He, oh, okay. Where's their uh, relationship going? Okay, they're really good friends. She's still in love with her, her husband. Rest in peace, Charles. But, you know, it's about time that she starts dating. And they're having, like, a really good, deep conversation. You know, he's probably debating on uh, whether he wants to pursue a relationship with her uh, because they are good friends. Um, but, I mean, you got to live a little bit. So let's sit here together, everybody. She's in a great mood. Look at her. Let's see. Bumping beats. Deep connection. Mm-hmm. Titillating banter. All right, Grandma Lily May. I'm, like, happy for her. I really am. I'm excited for her. Earl, you might want to, you know, take care of that. You look like you're in a tight. Uh, so she's going to sit down and enjoy herself a glass of what looks to be water. I mean, that's good. She's she's not really ready to partake. Of, okay, Christian posing with the skills. You know, maybe, maybe she doesn't want an older guy or someone her age. Maybe, maybe, maybe she'll take a chance with uh, Mr. Christian, give him a flirty a flirty introduction. I mean, he's a good looking guy. Oh, oh, does he liked it? Okay, cougar. <laughs> Look at her. Okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with uh, options. I mean, everybody's got options. And if he's uh, willing to uh, hang out and spend some time, why not? Let's Let's chat him up a little bit more. <laughs> She's a good man. Uh, okay, he didn't like that. All right, well, we tried. Let's, let's just give him a friendly talk and um, let's ask about day. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and leave uh, Grandma Lily here uh, with her friends and uh, Mr. Uh, Cutie Pie here. And uh, we'll get back to Tatiana, see what she's up to, because she's back home from school. So we'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back, guys. I know it's actually uh, on the next day. Um, we did get a little sidetrack with some gameplay. And just to fill you in, Nico came by the last night and to hang out with Tati, which was a definite surprise for me. I wanted to catch that on camera, but I didn't. I went ahead and uh, let them, you know, have some privacy and hang out with us not prying in. But she was, she's off to school this morning and we're in the kitchen with Elle and Lily May. Elle is eating breakfast before work. I think she has work in a couple. Oh, she's got a couple of days off. This is good. Um, but right now she and her mom are having a decent conversation. Her mom is really proud of the change in both of her children and she looks at Tatiana as her child even though that's her grandchild but she's proud of their um, growth I swear everything breaks in this house if it's not the toilets it's the shower and now it's the sink everything broke today but um, they just they had a conversation about you know the improvement in their relationship and Elle wanted to ask her mother um, some advice so I'm gonna have her call the plumber and then oh look at Astro <laughs> look how cute such a sweet kitty when he's asleep okay so we're not even gonna mop that up because it's not even gonna be uh, worth our time so I'm just gonna have them sit down together and, or you know what, let's just have her go outside. Let's have her talk to her mom outside. Wait, where is she? She went upstairs. Um, let's have her joke about old times. She didn't hit the shower, but you can shower later, girl. You got two days off. And actually, tomorrow is senior skip day. I think I added that to the calendar. Yes, senior skip day. Um, okay. 
let's read this rival's notebook while leaving the bathroom tatiana notices that her chief academic rival has left her notebook sitting on the sink it's got notes homework and lots of other important information inside should tatiana return it to its owner or just toss it in the trash okay first of all tatiana is not that type of person i don't think that she would be that conniving even if this person was an academic rival she wasn't raised that way however tatiana has been rebellious lately so let me take that into account i think though even though she's been a rebellious teen i don't think that this would follow suit with rebellion i i think this is actually um more or less outright mean so she's a good person i think she would take the high ground and i think she would go ahead and return the notebook so the rival suspiciously suspiciously takes user files the notebook but then blames tatiana for stealing it in the first place now she has explained that she was just trying to do a good deed yeesh okay so that backfired um if they're rivals you know okay but at least tatiana um did why did i do that there are no decorations for senior skip days so we're going to go back into live mode uh what was i saying i got sidetracked either way let's have this conversation let's join them um you know, she's like, Mom, I have to ask you a question. I'm, I met this guy. You saw him. He came over the other day. He's a really nice person. He's cute. But, you know, he's he, um, he understands me being a single mom and having to deal with a teenager and her attitude. And he gave me some amazing advice. Back down here, girl. Um, yeah. That was just rude to walk off in the middle of conversation. How are you going to do that? Okay. She's headed back downstairs. I really don't want her to reveal a secret. I want her to just talk about, uh, let's have her talk about the warm temperature. Um, she's like, I really like him, and but he's not working. He doesn't have a job. So what do you think I should do? She's like, well, he, does he make you happy? That's honestly one of the first things that counts in a relationship. If you trust him, he makes you happy. The rest of that will fall into place. I'm sure he has a reason for not having a job. Maybe he's, you know, looking. Uh, if it's something that continues, then I would, you know, I would be a little um, suspicious about that. But, you know, if it's something that he's working on, you know, so be it let him handle that but enjoy his company for now and there's nothing wrong with just enjoying someone's company which i agree with even though i'm the one that said it <laughs> there's nothing wrong with enjoying someone's company even if it's just as a friend i'm gonna have grandma mop that up there's absolutely nothing wrong with that Elle has been trying to take the shower girl go ahead and take your shower you've been trying to take it for the last uh, few minutes so we'll have you do that and I don't know, it's storming today or supposed to storm. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do today. Elle has a couple days off. Tati's at school. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe, hmm. Huh, you know something, darling. Maybe we'll go see if uh, Mr. Christian Posen is at the, the bar let's um let's have uh ellie l i'm about to call her ellie may let's have lily may hug her daughter um just to give her some reassurance and then you know maybe she can suggest it's like you know what i know you're really into this guy josh but i did meet someone the other day and he's good looking now i tried to throw my hat in the ring and he wasn't having it but I really want you to meet him. He's super good looking. Seems like a nice guy. Wouldn't hurt to um, add him on your dance card. She's like, you know what, mom? It's raining today. You know, I don't have anything else to do. Let's go. She's getting a little thick, isn't she? I like it on her. 
Okay, she's terrible at the violin. I don't know why she's still trying. Okay, so we're going to head over to the bar and see if Mr. Christian Posen. And we are back. We're here with uh, Elle and Grandma Lily May. Lord, I thought she dropped down, you guys, and died. But she dropped down to do some sit-ups. What kind of energy does she have? I, she and Earl belong together. But guess what, guys? Mr. Christian Posen is here. Okay. So uh, they're going to come over here and sit down and uh, order a couple drinks. Just our luck. What is he doing? <laughs> He's looking at him like, yeah, what is he doing? Oh, she took our spot. No, she didn't. Girl, you got competition. Okay. Who is he? He must be a star. Is he a star? Oops. Okay. So uh, we'll have her order a drink. Come on. No, 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 no. Order a drink. Order your favorite drink, whatever his favorite drink is. He's getting everybody hyped up and no one's here really. It's too early in the day for that, sir. Okay, we're going to have her um, order a drink. Order your favorite drink. Um, let's see if she can chat him up. I mean, there's nothing wrong, like I said before, to penciling someone else down on your dance card. It's not serious with Josh. Not really. It's nothing wrong with um. Maybe we just give him a friendly introduction first. Okay, let's give him an enchanting introduction. Let's see how that goes. Um... Did it work? Oh, it worked. You go, girl. Uh, what's with him? Did she embarrass herself? Oh, okay. Let's chat him up. Let's let's uh, ask about his day. Uh, and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Elle. How is she, your day going? <laughs> I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I am. Uh, is she is she going to chat with him? Chat with Leia and... Okay, she must be Leia. Is she Leia? Yeah, she's Leia. I mean, girl, there's competition. Leia is sitting at this bar with purpose. But there's nothing wrong with chatting up your competition to see what he's about. See what she's about. I mean, he did give you a look just now. Maybe we can... Um, let's, let's chat him up a little bit more. Let's be funny. Let's tell a knock-knock joke. I mean, those go over well, don't they? Honey, you are sitting entirely too far away from Mr. Christian. Let's, um, he's in a romantic mood. He's in a very flirtatious mood. So let's, um, compliment his appearance. See how uh, he takes of that. Oh, okay. That, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is she cheering for him? Okay. She must be cheering for him. I was about to say, that is bogus. Let's try it one more time. Let's ask him if he's single. Just, you know, be calm. Chill out. Be, be slick about it, girl. Can you do it? Is he? Is he going to take the bait? Is he single? Did we find out? He is single. Okay. Um, smooth recovery. See how that goes. Is he taking it? He's taking the bait. No. Okay. He's He doesn't like old girl because she's flirting with him. Oh. Okay, okay, L. Look at you, girl. Okay, okay. Let's uh, flirt some more. Where are you going? Where are you going? Are you going around the corner? Okay, where are you going, girl? Oh, you're coming behind the bar. Yes, she is all kinds of confident. She's a little embarrassed, but she's still gonna take her chance. She took a selfie because she knows she looks good. Um, see if you can flirt some more. Oh. Exchange numbers. Come on. 
You can do it. It's been a while since she's dated, guys. So I'm really proud of her. She is opening up. Please take the number. Please like. Oh. Oh, no. Really? But you were taking all that. Okay, but you know what, though? That's fine. I mean, he's still cute. We did. Let's just take it slow. Let's be friendly. Let's continue to ask about his day. See if he'll talk. I mean, Leah, we don't know how we feel about you. He was trying to flirt, too. But, I mean, he is open. Um, open house. Yeah, that's that's the wrong thing to say. It is open season. Oh. Wait a minute. This woman right here. She is she Nadia Fox is the town gossip. So you see, she rolled right in and uh, went to gossiping. So just so you know, yeah. All right. So you know what? Maybe this isn't a good idea to be uh, flirting in front of the town gossip. I mean, because she knows everything. But let's 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 see if we can confess our attraction. I mean, he is good looking. What happened to him? Why did he, why was he on the ground? Okay. Well, he completely, <laughs> they're probably talking about her now. Like, did you just say that? Yes. She just played herself. Okay. Well, you know what? It's time for you to go home. We can talk to this guy later. He does have her number I and mean, he's cute, but he's not all that. So take your butt on home. <laughs> Pick up your face. <gasps> Oh, no, she's she's not going to join that. Thank you, though. Thank you, GL. We appreciate you. I forgot today was senior skip day, so she doesn't have school today. <laughs> and of course, on senior skip day, the day we have off, it's pouring outside, but that is not going to stop our party train. No Ma'am, no, sir. Uh, Grandma Lily May is up. I almost called her Grandma L. What is up with me calling her Grandma L? All right, so we're going to wake up Tati. I think she's had plenty of sleep. Let's wake her up and let us get her ready um, to go, I guess, hang out. It's raining, so I don't know what we're actually going to do. But we're going to have her put these clothes in the laundry because for whatever reason, somebody decided to put them on the floor rather than in the washing machine. I mean, that's just lazy. I'm judging. Jesus sees you. Okay. So, um, Elle, I think Elle has work today. No, she doesn't have work today. Well, rightly so, it's a holiday. You know what? And maybe there's a mod out there. I don't know. And maybe someone can tell me. Um, if there is or not, but when you create a holiday, wouldn't it be like, wouldn't it make sense, especially if you want to create a, just a school specific holiday, wouldn't it make sense for you to be able to determine if it's for, if you can, if it's a holiday for school or if it's a holiday for work and school, you know, maybe we can add that in the game because Honestly, this was supposed to be senior skip day, not mom doesn't have to go to work day. And uh, senior skip day is an official, unofficial holiday for those of us who uh, remember high school. Okay, so what is, what's going on with her? She's hungry, Ella's hungry, so we're gonna have her eat or she's cleaning. Oh, okay, well this came up. I would like to adult now. Uh, I feel like I'm old enough now that I should be allowed to go anywhere I want and do whatever I want. Can you treat me like an adult, please? So, Tati's back on her stuff again with her attitude about wanting to be treated like an adult. I think she tried to do that before by sneaking out the house. Well, that wasn't actually an adult thing because adults don't sneak out the house. They walk out the house with confidence. She snuck out. And in this case, you're acting like uh, an immature um, teenager who didn't have the, well, I guess she, her mother did tell her she couldn't go anywhere. But if you want to be treated like an adult, you listen to authority. So, 
okay, I was on a little rant here, but okay, so you'll always be my baby, not until you're grown more. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> um, I, I feel like Elle would probably say not until you've grown more and, and not necessarily in physically, but maybe mature uh, in her mind. Like not until you've aged a little um, in wisdom and some common sense because, you know, your behavior lately has shown me um, otherwise as far as like you being an adult. So yeah, not until you've grown more. So her responsibility, sorry, her responsibility has increased and her conflict resolution has decreased. Uh, I don't even know where she's at regarding her um, parental guidance or her manners. Well, she's very responsible. She just has no emotional control. Oh, okay. Um, her empathy is lacking. And her so is her conflict resolution. Well, um, Lise will know that she'd be extremely responsible, very well-mannered, but completely out of control. And um, no common sense whatsoever wonder what kind of adult she will make <laughs> we shall see all right so tati does not look pleased that it's raining and no one is happy in this house that is okay slamming doors i mean i hate it when it gets so tense like this in the house because of thunderstorms i wish that everybody wasn't afraid of thunderstorms um but i mean that's just too much like right okay grandma you've been in the, the shower a little too long but she's probably like girl i play the water bill around here or as my dad would say, I pay the cost to be the boss. <laughs> so, all right. So Tati is just going to have to wait it out until grandma gets out of the house. But I guess we can try to figure out what we're going to do. So maybe we will have Tati um, text. Um, let's have her text a friend. Um, let's see. Who should we text? Honestly, maybe she could text Ms. Bernard. And see if she's, <coughs> excuse me, summoned up the courage to talk to Coach uh, Santiago. Yes, no, maybe so. See if she'll respond. And then we will text. Oh, gosh, I'm so tempted to text Nico. Um, but... She really needs to hang out with her friends. She hasn't hung out with her friends in a, a, a while. So she has been neglecting them and she really needs to work on that. So let's have her send a text to Shiloh, see what she's doing. Grandma, you really need to, to work on this counter. Okay, no need to slam the door. This is an ancient refrigerator lady. Uh, I can't take any more of that. All right, so Tati is going to go upstairs, get dressed, and uh, we will see you guys in just a moment. All right, we have arrived at uh, Miss B's house. I guess the girls um, wanted to go ahead and check in on Miss B. She wasn't answering any text messages in there. Nosy as heck. I mean, I'm nosy too. I want to know what's going on with Miss B and Coach Santiago because Let's be honest, they've been playing around. We all know Coach Santiago has been noticing Ms. B. I don't know. I'm really not sure. And Tati just really walked up in her house. Ms. B didn't even answer the door. Oh, by the way, we did give Ms. B a little bit of a makeover. She looks fabulous. Look at her. All her curves showing. Look at them legs. You go, girl. So Tati just, she walked on out. Okay. I don't, I don't know where she's going. I guess she's going to go chat with Shelby. Um, you know what? She's out here with Pia and Shelby. Um, I think Pia's actually, what in the world? Oh. I guess because they're celebrating senior skip day, but Pia looks, Pia looks pissed. She doesn't look very happy. Uh, she's not a very, um, easy person to get along with. You know, if we go ahead and check our friendship levels with Pia, we're still trucking along. We're still struggling, uh, trying to at least make some leeway with her. 
But Pia looks like she's confronting Shelby about her reasons for um, joining the tutoring class or tutoring, yeah, tutoring group, tutoring class, uh, because she really doesn't need it. She's like, what's your point of being there? You're wasting our time. She's just confrontational. Look, Shelby's trying to give her a real good reason why she's there, but we all know that Shelby was there to be spying on Tati and Nico because the rest of the girls want to know, okay, she went and changed. Look, she's like, ladies, I thought we were going out. I'm feeling good. Y'all feeling good? Let's go hang out. I mean, she does look fabulous. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go get the other girls. Look, Shiloh's in here watching TV. Keely's made herself real comfortable. What? It seems like every time I'm around Ke um, Keely, she has a plate full of grilled fruit. I don't know if she's pulling that out of her inventory or what. Because there is no grill in sight. I have a feeling that she's got that in her, her inventory. All right, looks like she's been taking lessons from Grandma Lily Mae. All right, so Tati is talking to um, Ms. B out here, and she's trying to find out where her head is at about Coach Santiago. And she's like, Tati, girl, I haven't done anything yet. I haven't talked to him. Um, you know, I really thank you ladies for helping me out with my makeover, but I just still haven't gotten the courage to talk to him. I've been walking past his office to see if he'll even notice me, but I just don't think he he even cares. Did they really just pull that out of their inventory? Where do they come up with these drinks? They are really in a party mood. Okay, so they're ready to go. I mean, wow. Okay, where's the food coming from, guys? Where's the food coming from? Where are the drinks coming from? That is my question. Where are the drinks coming from? Um, all right, so they're going to see. It is senior skip day. Miss B must have taken the day off. It's obviously she has. So why don't they head over to the school? Sometimes um, Costa and Santiago can be, um, but it's senior skip day. I mean, we could go to the school. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do, guys, but we're going to go ahead and stop it here because I, I don't know. I'm, we've still got to decide on whether uh, Miss B should go ahead and pursue Coach Santiago or not. Um, and then let's see. You know what? Now, let's go ahead and let's go to the high school. We're not going to stop it. We're going to go to the high school and see if Coach Santiago is there. I know it's senior skip day. They're not supposed to be um, at the school per se because they don't want to get caught. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to grab Tenchi, Ten P.I., Evie, Shelby, Shiloh, uh, um, who are we missing? Keely. Oh, her friendship level is low with Keely as well. All right, so we're going to head over to the high school. Okay, so hear me out, guys. We went to the high school, and Coach Santiago was not here. So we are stand was not there. So we are standing in front of his house. We are with Ms. B. Okay, now I would not normally suggest that you show up at a guy's house unannounced or anyone's house for that matter but we are trying to push an agenda here that uh coach santiago needs to be with Ms. B. who's never here singing is that keely wow she's got a beautiful voice okay so everyone's going home and tati is trying to bolster up Ms. B's cur uh, courage to um to go talk to Coach Santiago. So we are going to try to, uh, let's see, other Sims. Is that, ask about another, hook up with, oh, it's not, huh. Okay, we can't do that. Okay, what about, do we have other Sims talk up another Sim? Is he not on our list? Well, that's not good. Okay, well, that's not going to work. What about, um, shoot, what about 
Um, ask about another sim. Okay, so Tanti doesn't have a very close relationship with Coach Santiago, which makes sense because she's not on any type of basketball team. But maybe we can go ahead and knock on his door. It is getting a little late and we're here. I mean, oh, whose little pupper is that? What a cutie pup. Oh, that's his pupper. I know we're not just going to walk up on in his house. He's so cute. He's sick though, guys. Aw. Poor baby boss. That's his. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Okay, okay. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. <laughs> I mean, this is totally unprecedented. You just don't walk into your teacher's. Well, he's not even her teacher. She literally just walks through his house, goes back outside, and she's like, okay, coast is clear. He's on the couch watching TV. Now is your chance. You know, you've got liquid courage going on. Go inside. You look great. Okay, let's all just go in. Look at look at Sh uh, look at Shiloh talking her up. Just like, you know what? Ms. B is an amazing woman. We know that she's shy, and we really want to see you guys at least go out on a date. And maybe you should think about taking her out. This is so not happening right now. This is so not happening. Um, sing together. What? Okay, can everybody go in here? Go here? Can we all go here? Is this not happening? Sit here and chat? Can we, can we not all come in? Can we ask Ms. B to come in? Um, can we call her over? Nothing? Okay, this isn't working. Oh, he's in a flirty mood too. Oh my gosh. This is the perfect time. Oh, okay, but she knows. Her. Let's, okay, let's, let's talk to uh, Coach Santiago. Let's, let's make a funny introduction to Coach Santiago. This is the perfect time to get to know him. He is in a flirty mood. Now we can talk up. Um, now we can talk her. Okay, let's see. There. Ah, oh, shoot. Yes, perfect. He's in a flirty mood. She's outside. She's talking him up. She's like, you've got to meet her. I know you know her. She's, you see her in the hallways. She's one of the best teachers there. Oh, awesome. Wow, I'd love to get to know her. Miss Bernard, come in the house. You look amazing. Do not waste. Oh my gosh. <gasps> He's coming to talk to her. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 oh yeah. He finds her quite pleasing. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot oh wait a minute he's got her on his mind I mean she looks like a whole meal so look at them they are hitting it off thank you Tati you are the ultimate matchmaker but you can't matchmake yourself for, for nothing Poor boss, he needs to go to the vet. Oh, look, this is such a cute. Oh. Okay, let's. I wish we could check and see what the relationship's like. But, all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and leave it at that. Um, I did accomplish my mission finally. Uh, or at least Tati did and got these two beautiful people together at least meeting I don't know if anything's gonna come out of it but it certainly bolstered Miss B's confidence if it doesn't work out I mean the guy obviously thinks she's pleasing and um, you know any other guy should find her very pleasing as well she's a beautiful woman and the kids love her and that's saying a lot especially when teenagers and children love you as an adult if they can't if they love to be around you that ought to tell you something 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and leave these two love bugs by themselves, Keely. Okay. We're gonna leave these two love bugs by themselves and let them get their flirt on. Look at him being all smooth. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and leave it at that. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have, give me a like. And if you're not a member of our family, why not? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you'll know every time I upload. I love you guys, and I will talk to you later. Until next time, ciao.